Hello and welcome to Jessie Bear Book Club. Today we are talking about the All About History magazine, back issue number 91. And this magazine's main story is Henry Tudor versus Francis de Valois. And they've got quite an older picture of Henry, you know, him maybe, you know, late 30s, early 40s. I would have preferred a younger Henry, like 20 year old Henry, you know? And then they've got Francis there. And you know what's really funny is I've got a friend called Theo who is French. She's my life model when I teach life drawing classes. And he looks just like that. So I took a photo and sent it to him because I thought it was hilarious. And there's a few other stories in this. We've got an article about Gordon Parks, which is very good. One about Lenin and the history of nursing. Which, can you see? History of nursing. So in we go. You got your usual contents page. Ooh, I like that art. Don't you like that art? I always love the art in all about history magazines. So getting on to the nursing. Oh, look at Elvis. Look at Elvis and his legs. All about nurses. So this is their featured article that they do every month. They have something, I think last one we did was on the Thebans. I cannot pronounce that word. But they do one, the first magazine I bought was about toy makers. You know, they've got their timeline. And this is actually quite interesting because it teaches you a lot about different famous nurses throughout history. And it has some amazing photographs. I've said before, I love a good gas mask photo. And look at that, isn't that just so beautiful? I'd love that on a postcard to put up in my like spare room. So moving along, we've got, you know, some hospitals, field hospital stuff. Interesting, my mum was a nurse for years, so, you know, I've got a bit of an interest. And then there's this beautiful artwork of this lovely 1950s nurse. There's a photo of my mum when she graduated nursing school in kind of the mid 70s. And she's in one of these outfits and I, I like it. I think it's really cute. Moving along, more stuff about famous nurses. You know, they talk about loads of people, like you could spend ages just going through who they talk about. You know, Mary Sequel. Uh, you know, of course they talk about Florence Nightingale and it's good. Every little article is quite short. You can really breeze through it. You don't need to spend a ton of time. You know, more stuff about nursing, famous innovations in nursing, places nurses nursed during the Second World War, and nursing museums all over the world. Pretty interesting. I don't think I'd go to a nursing museum though, it'd be a bit too medical for my taste. And now we get to the real meat. The real meat of this magazine. Henry versus Francis. And I was really looking forward to reading this article and it didn't let me down. It was good. It had a, a fresh take on their relationship. It talked a lot more about alliances. I was worried it would talk just about like romantic things or policies or the Battle of the Spurs, but it really got into the nitty gritty of their political lives and their rivalry. Of course, it talks about the field of cloth of gold. I wonder if there's a picture I will show you. Yes, the field of cloth of gold. But it's, it's very good. It talks about lots of different things and how they compared each other. It's got a little scale here where they gave each other marks on the crown. You can see they both get 15. I counted them. And the, whoever wrote this article was very pro-Francis, which surprised me because most people are very, you know, pro-Henry, but it was definitely a fresh take. It also talked about the Ottoman Empire and the threat of the Ottoman Empire and how it was always kind of looming in the background and both kings were aware of it. And of course, you know, Francis famously sided with the Ottoman Empire at one point. I'm sorry, this magazine is kind of old and, oh no, falling apart. I need to get some sellotape. Should I use sellotape or do you think staples would be better? I can never decide and I don't want to ruin it. I suppose it's falling apart, it's already ruined. But it's good. It talks about, you know, their children, their marriages, all their battles. It talks about how they died very close together, how they were very similar ages. You know, it's just good. It's just good. It's in-depth. Bit of a fresh take. I would recommend this article if you get a chance to read it. Lennon in London. Cool artwork. Boring article. But, you know. If you're into, you know, Lenin, I guess, it's a good one. You know, it goes on about what he learnt while he was in London. You know, his famous, like, communist views, blah de blah I don't know, communism bores me. I had to do it in secondary school for GCSE. And, you know, you kind of, after you've studied it and studied it and studied it, you kind of lose any interest in it. So, moving on to 
Genghis Khan and dividing Genghis Khan's empire. And I know a bit about Genghis Khan. I've you know, watched a few documentaries. I'm very interested. I need to read a book series people keep recommending to me about Genghis Khan, his empire, and his children. And this is a very brief overview of Genghis Khan's life. And then you go on to see how each little bit is how his empire was divided and the civil wars that went on. It was interesting. I know very little, so it may be a little hard to follow for me. It is something I'd like to get more knowledge about though, because I'm very interested in it. Especially because our neighbours in Spain have yurts and, you know, yurts, the steps, you get it. Then we've got a lovely article on Gordon Park's career. And he's amazing, an amazing photographer. I mean, look at that! And how he really was transformative in American culture. Oh, I love that picture. Look at that picture, it's so pretty! Like, um, it just talks about him, his career, what inspired him, you know, the era of revolution he lived through and was part of. Then there is an article on virtual museums, which was there, you know, National Portrait Gallery down there, been there. Uh, it was alright, nothing special. Then we have an article on the Sacred Band, which is all about the Greekest of Greek soldiers, if you get my meaning. Uh, it's interesting. Very, It's very close to kind of Spartan history, so, you know, very similar. Whoever wrote it, it's a bit dry, like, it's just, I don't know. It didn't really catch my attention. It's interesting, but not a thrilling or gripping read, shall we say. And then we've got the Blitz Busting Tips. And this was quite funny, also kind of disgusting about how people made different things during rationing, about like how they used breadcrumbs to make marzipan and parsley and water to make honey. Nice, nice poster, Second World War poster. But real bits here. And I've got this, I've got this on a postcard, my spare room I bought when I was in York. And got like making mayonnaise out of mashed potatoes. Ugh, makes me want to be sick. Um, you know how people used to draw on stockings because they couldn't get them. Wedding dresses made out of parachute silk. People making bananas out of boiled parsnips, which is just kind of disgusting. But interesting, I really like the stuff about the fashion. When I did my dissertation in university, I did my theme was politics and fashion in the latter half of the century. So I did a lot on the Second World War. And then we got the Battle of Hill 262, which if you like the Second World War, read. If you don't, if you're not a big war buff, skim it, as I did. Da -da 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 -da. Now there's this. And I said in my last video, I don't normally like these. I do like the way it's laid out. And this taught me something I had no idea about. How in the 1920s America was planning to destroy the British Empire. I knew nothing about this and it was a very interesting read. This guy down here, he's the man in charge, he's the one responsible for this article. And it was very interesting, more interesting than I thought it would be. Amazing photo of Churchill here looking like Al Capone. I would definitely recommend that. I might actually save it and give it to my stepdad. It's very interesting how they were planning to destroy the British Navy and how they really did view Britain as a threat after the Second World War. No, First World War. Anyway, I didn't know it. Then we get onto the tower and torture devices at the tower. I have been to the Tower of London. It was full with sticky children touching things, which was kind of annoying, but you know, it's still interesting. And Scold's Bridal. Thumb screws, you know, the works. Interesting. Could have been more detailed. I would have liked a few more bits, like very short, very short. You know, expand a bit on the history <laughs> of horrible punishment. There you got your reviews. Nothing standing out really to me, nothing I'd seen. Um, you've seen maybe in the last video I did, there was an article about um, Viking women, warrior women. Now there's a book. So if anyone was interested in that article, maybe look this book up. And then we get on to the lovely, lovely cooking section right at the back. And jumbles. Look at jumbles. Jumble biscuits. I have read through this. I am yet to make it. I think it looks insane. You have to boil these. You have to make them, then you have to boil them, then you have to bake them like bagels. 
not that many ingredients and I think I think I'm gonna give it a go I'll let you know how they turn out I'll probably just do it on Instagram because recording while you're baking it kind of takes the joy out of it for me the next magazine I'm going to review from my enormous magazine haul is all about history Napoleon's Waterloo it is issue number 67 I also have this history revealed on Napoleon so I don't know maybe I'll review them together I cannot decide probably quite similar but you know, I don't want to be over napoleon -ed. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of All About History, issue number 91, about Henry and Francis. I really did. It's probably one of my favourite ones I've read so far. And if you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I put out a new video every Tuesday. See you guys next time. Bye!